Hello everyone, Crystal Fisher here and welcome to a brand new Crash Bandicoot 4 It's About Time mod video. This is, as you can see, Pinstripe Potteroo, ported over from Crash on the Run. So no, he's not holding a gun. No, he's not, uh, he's not, you know, a Cortex mod. Um, which, you know, I could see people being like, oh yeah, let, it, let him be Cortex. But no, because it's from Crash on the Run, uh, it's actually kind of the perfect scenario because, you know, the model matches up and, and honestly, it looks really damn good. Uh, Crash on the Run, you know, has some great models in it actually. Like, it's, it's, an, it's a borderline, dare I say it, uh, you know, underrated game in terms of kind of what it does for like Crash Bandicoot lore. Obviously, you know, avoiding the fact that, yeah, it's sort of a pay to win, pay to advance game, which is, you know, unfortunately all too common. But anyway, regardless of that, regardless of that, let's, let's see if this, uh, let's see if what happens here. Is it, does it break? No, it doesn't. Okay, cool. Sometimes some mods don't quite work uh, perfectly. For example, there is a tiny tiger one coming out. Uh, check it out on the, I'll link to the mod website where you can actually see some of these. It mentions something about like, you know, glitches happening and what, what not, but, oh, oh no. Oh, oh, look, there we go, pinstripe uh, death animation, very nice. Okay, what about, let's see, let's see if there's any other, oh, very good, very good. Obviously, I, I, I shouldn't be so desperately looking for, for issues, um, but yeah, it's uh, no, this is very, very impressive. I just wanted to do it real quick, show you guys that yes, Crash 4 mods are still in the works, you know, like they're still happening. Um, it's not like a, it's not like a, you know, a, a dead medium of, what's the word, entertainment. I'm failing this so bad. All right, let's get away from some of the failure here and uh, we'll point out that the, this was uh, created by ASO Designer and they say they wanted to thank Sponge Bandy Ma one for his huge help in putting this mod to come to life. That's uh, that's their words there. So yeah, thanks thanks to Sponge Bandy. Uh, great username. I had an old username uh, back in the day. My first YouTube username was actually Andrew Sponge. So that's, uh, you know, as you can imagine, I wonder what TV show I really liked back then. But yeah, here's an example of how it looks like in a cutscene. Honestly, great. I will say really, really great. Uh, this is one of the later, later cutscenes in the game. I've got a different skin on Coco there too. So, I mean, that's one of the, the more underrated parts of Crash 4 actually, is that this, the, the, like they're not pre-rendered cutscenes, so they're actually, you know, contain, you know, the skin that you've, you've picked. I think that's a really, really great aspect. Uh, because I was just playing Reignited Trilogy and you know, they were all like pre-rendered and you know, much lower quality. And the last thing I probably should point out is that yeah, if you do have the Quantum Masks, like if you're using them, uh, it will convert back to Crash, unfortunately. So they recommend using the mod that disable Quantum Masks. So yeah, just 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 pointing that out. Um, unfortunately, you know these mods are not foolproof, but this is you know this is about as good as it gets. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this short little video, and I'll be back soon with more.